What's up guys, Nathan here, and today I'm gonna to teach you how to win every single poker hand. Just do this, let's jump right into it. All right guys, so the first thing I need to point out is that nobody wins every single hand in poker. It's not possible. However, if you follow the three simple steps that I'm gonna teach you in today's video, you should start winning more pots on average, more poker hands, so let's jump into this. So tip number one is to always, or at least almost always, enter the pot with a raise. Now I'm talking about pre-flop, that's before the flop, and what you wanna do is you want to enter the pot with either a raise or a re-raise the large majority of the time that you choose to play a hand simply because it puts you in charge. It gives you more ways to win as we're gonna discuss later on in this video. By the way, I'm gonna walk you through a bunch of example hands as well to help illustrate all of this better for you. So for example, you have ace three of diamonds, it's folded to you on the button. Instead of limping like a lot of people would do, limping is just calling the blind, why not make a raise here instead to two times the big blind, three times the big blind, and let people know that you're not entering the pot in a passive manner. You're here to take control and it's going to be on them to make a hand. Guys, let people know right away who's in charge. Don't allow people to just see free cheap flops make people think that, oh, well, just go to the flop and just see who hits a hand. Guys, leave that in the home games. If you wanna win consistently in poker, you have to understand that aggressive poker is winning poker. If you are given an opportunity to take the aggressive betting lead in a hand, you need to go ahead and do just that. All right, so tip number two to win every single poker hand is to make a flop c-bet. So now that you've followed my advice and you've raised or re-raised pre-flop, you are going to have the betting lead on the flop and that basically what that means is you know everybody's looking to you they're like oh what's he gonna do you know he's the guy in control you know he's the one who raised pre-flop we'll, we'll check to him and see what he wants to do guys this is what you want in poker you want people following your lead you want them looking to you and being afraid of what you're going to do because this is how we win so many of these small and medium sized pots in poker and I'm gonna give you some more examples here is by leaning on people like this because you guys need to understand that you don't make hands in poker very often. In fact, two out of three times, you're going to miss the flop entirely. So that is why it is so important to have the aggressive betting lead in poker as often as possible because you need to take more pots away from people when nobody has anything. For example, you know, you raise up eight, seven of spades and the flop comes down with an ace of diamonds, six of spades and four of hearts. Well, you didn't really flop anything huge here. I mean, we actually do have a gut shot straight draw. If it came with a five on the turn or river, we'd make the nut straight. And hopefully you guys also notice that there's a spade on the board there. So we do have a backdoor spade draw as well. If it were to come spade, spade, on the turn and river, we would make a flush. But we don't actually have a pair right now on this board. You know, we essentially still have a fairly weak hand, which is what happens the majority of the time in poker. So this is why it is important that you make what we call a continuation bet here or a C bet. And typically you don't need to bet that much. You know, say the pot is $20, something like that on the flop. You can just bet $10 here and you're going to often encourage your opponent to make the fold to lay down their hand in this spot. Because guys, again, remember that your opponent in the hand has missed the flop two out of three times. Let's bet now and give them a reason to fold. Once again, we want to take down more of these pots when nobody really has anything. If this player has a hand like King Jack, for example, right now, they don't have anything either, but they're technically ahead of us because they have King High and we have Eight High. So that is why it is an absolutely huge slam dunk victory for us to make a small bet here and encourage a better hand like that to fold right now as that hand probably will. But a lot of people will ask me, but Nathan, what if they call you on the flop? What do you do on the Turner River? So let's talk about that right now. All right, guys, so what you want to do on the turn or the river is that you want to double barrel versus all of the weaker kind of players that you often find, especially in today's small and mid stakes games. Now, what do I mean by double barrel and what do I mean by weaker players? Well, let's define double barrel first. Double barrel is when you've raised pre-flop, you've bet the flop, and now you're gonna bet again on the turn. This is an extremely strong play in poker, which basically draws a line in the sand that says, hey, I'm very serious. 
about my hand. This is going to be very, very expensive for you if you want to continue on here. So you need to fold your hand now. And thankfully, a lot of people in today's games, they are afraid to play a big pot without a really strong hand like the nuts. The nuts is a slang term in poker for, you know, an extremely strong hand one of the best hands possible. So oftentimes you can make another bet here using the cards on the board that are going to scare them, which I'm gonna talk about right now, in order to get them to fold a better hand. So for example, using the same hand here, we raised up eight, seven of spades preflop. We got called preflop, flop comes down once again with the ace, six, four. You bet and let's assume that they call. Now the turn comes with the king of hearts. Now a lot of people would say, oh, well, you know, we have nothing here, you know, we can't even hit a, a spade flush now. You know, we have eight high, we, we just have to give up, right? No guys, this is actually a perfect opportunity to make another bet against one of these risk averse, weaker kind of players. Don't do this against the wild maniac fish, okay? I'm talking about those tighter, weaker, risk averse players that we all see at the poker tables. These are the kind of people that you want to make the double barrel against them in this situation and allow them to talk themselves into folding a hand like pocket nines, pocket tens, five, six, all of these hands like this, which are significantly better than our hands by making another bet here we are making a very convincing argument for these hands to fold right now i talk about this at length in my brand new elite poker training university 17 plus hours of advanced poker instruction if you enjoy these videos here on youtube i think you'll enjoy that some more you can enroll today i'll have links in the description below but guys bottom line you want to be leaning on people consistently when you play Play poker this is how you win every poker hand or at least a larger percentage of poker hands is giving people a reason to fold guys at the end of the day you need to remember that everybody gets dealt the same amount of good hands mediocre hands and poor hands in the long run in poker and the only real difference the reason why there's a handful of small elite winners is because these are the people who convince other people to fold in all of those situations the majority of situations when nobody really has anything really good in poker. Guys, anybody can play the nuts. Anybody can play pocket aces. It's learning how to play a pseudo connector like this when you don't really have anything, which is where the rubber meets the road in poker. It's where real poker players get ahead. So guys, I hope that these three simple tips helped you guys at least win a few more pots. Make sure you like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And also grab a copy of my free poker cheat sheet for more. That'll be the top link in the description below. 60 page little free guide to give you my entire strategy to start smashing small and mid-stakes games. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you next time.